Brooklyn Independent Television. A treat for both the eyes and the taste buds, Purple Yam offers a mix of Filipino and other Asian-inspired dishes to those open to the adventure. Menu items include chicken adobo, beef tapa, and a medley of dumplings, chutneys, and kimchi, all carefully curated by master chef Rami Duratan and enjoyed by all who partake from both near and far. I started as a dishwasher in Philadelphia while I was a graduate student. I moved from being a dishwasher to a cook. We moved here in New York City, and then I moved also to become a dance chef, cook, chef, <laughs> became a chef. We basically extended the concept of Sandrion, the old restaurant. We have a friend who is a Korean, and he wanted to of cook here, so we added more Korean uh, dishes. But it's an evolving menu that calls from mostly Southeast Asian, from Thai, Burma, Laos, and Indonesia. But the foundation is the Filipino. In terms of taste, the most important to us is sourness. It basically distinguishes us from the other Asian countries. Fish sauce is the common seasoning that we use, as opposed to the Far East, like China, Korea, and Japan. So this is a eggplant kolawo. We basically grill this so that it's charred. After grilling this, <laughs> we come up with this, all right? Then we prepare a sauce made with coconut milk. The grated coconut is charred and then burn, and then we squeeze the milk out of it. Basically infuse it with a little of the pepper. For the salad, we have hikima, guavas, bitter melon, pomelo, ripe mango, we have the uh, radish and tomato. We have to salt this liberally with vinegar, and then you can toast it. You can put some uh, cilantro, It on top of the eggplant salad with burnt coconut cream. We have been here for about more than three years. We moved here in Ditmas Park because it's close to our house. The rent in our old restaurant was getting very high. So this is a very cool and nice neighborhood, up and coming. <laughs> so this is a pink snapper. We will gonna wrap it with this. This is uh, here, it's uh, available frozen. This is pandan leaf. So we'll try to stuff this without boning it. What we have here is um, king oyster mushroom, tomatoes, and I put some ginger. We're gonna stuff this and then basically wrap this in pandan leaves. This will impart a beautiful flavor to the fish. We're gonna pan fry the red snapper or pink snapper. In this case, wrap in pandan leaves and turn it around and that. We'll see. And then we'll put this in the oven because it's too thick. Put all of this stuff here. So we'll try to make the sauce from this. But we'll uh, try to dip it. Uh -huh. So this is the juice from the key lime and the clementine. And we'll try to deglaze this pan with it. Put some butter. It's better if we put it on the side. Pink snapper wrapped in pandan leaves with all kinds of junks. <laughs> so we're gonna make a buko pie or young coconut pie and the crust is made with 
quick pop pastry, small pie, individual pie. So we brush this with a little butter. This very classic Philippine uh, pie. Traditionally, it's only made with buko. This is uh, this is already young coconut, grated young coconut. We make a purple yam jam on the bottom, and then the buko with the juice and heavy cream. And now uh, we bake it for uh, about 25 minutes and 400 degrees. Here's the buku pie with coconut ice cream. And we're going to serve it with a little of uh, blueberry compote or sauce. And then we're gonna also serve it with another coconut ice cream. But this is made from a very different coconut. It's a dog of nature. It's an abnormal coconut. I don't think we are really unique in that sense. We just part of that movement of serving good food from a good ingredients. That's where we belong. Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org slash BIT.